So I'm out one day. I'm out one day with my current ex-girlfriend at the time and my mom. And we left her shopping. We walked across the street to the store instead of driving because it was, you know, just that close. And so this guy comes up to her. He's trying to talk to her. And I was always raised that when grown folks are talking, you say, excuse me. That's how I was raised. So I don't understand how that turned into something backwards. Like, seriously. So um, I was going to ask my mom, does she want this particular drink? And I said, excuse me, mom. And she interrupted and says, don't call me mama. Don't you see this man is trying to talk to me? And a look of disgust and embarrassment, not only in front of my ex-girlfriend that she did this, but there were several people in the store. So I was embarrassed and I was hurt. Um, I just feel like after you say something like that to somebody, what, what else can you really say? Did, did you, you're not even thinking about me, so I can't call you mama. First, I'm not alive to certain people. There's people that don't know I'm alive until they meet me and I look just like you. Now it's turned into a whole nother demon. Don't call me mama. What the hell? Sometimes people can take you through levels of stuff. Sometimes people can make you evaluate, reevaluate how you were raised by the things you were taught. I was taught to be respectful and say hi. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. You know, be respectful to elders, all those good things, you know, um, you know, stuff like that. So to have to reevaluate that. And now you want me to call you mama because a man is trying to talk to you. That was the first time it happened. It happened again. We were in the grocery store. We were actually in Ralph's and it was around Thanksgiving time and it happened again. And I was asking her about these certain cans and I, I'm going to put a, a video up uh, on my food channel, but I, I mentioned something about cans and shopping, you know, and how to really, um, evaluate a can, you know, make sure it's not bent and you'll see why when you see that. But I always like, you know, you know, just fill in the can and make sure the can doesn't have any bents, you know, um, uh, more well, bands in them. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you why. My grandmother, the last thing I, um, I saw my grandmother eat was a bent can of peaches, and I was 11. And this is my mom's mom, okay? My grandmother was like pretty much my mother as far as I'm concerned, period. That was my best friend, that was my mom, okay? And that's the last thing I saw her eat at 11 years old, and then the next following day she was gone. So that stuck in my head. Um, keep in mind, I was an 11 year old kid, and um, that destroyed my world when my grandmother passed away. She was, oh, I'm not going to cry, Jesus. Okay, um, she was everything. And it still hurts like I'm that 11-year-old little girl because um, she was the glue that kept everybody together. She was strength. You know, you would never, if you saw my grandmother around me, my brother, my cousin, you would never have to dispute or even have to question if she loved us. You knew it automatically. Um, and I miss her. I miss her in my soul. I, I do. My grandmother was that rare diamond that you uh, you can't obtain. She was the best woman. I know she was my hero. And uh, I cry about it a lot. I can't say I don't because I miss her. I really do. Um, I miss her. But uh, I'm going to try to focus and stop crying and get back to what I was trying to tell you. So, um, give me a second. I'm not going to ever apologize for my tears. Because we, we all have a right. Men, women, whoever you are, we have a right to show our emotions, express our emotions, and we have a right to let them come out. I think crying is good for the soul. So as I was getting ready to say, um, I was filling on this, you know what I'm saying, making sure that I was filling on this can to make sure it wasn't bent. And I just told you why. And this guy was trying to talk to my mom. And like I said, I was raised when grown folks is talking. You say, excuse me. I'm only going by what I was taught by my mama. Okay. So this guy tried to talk to her and she said, don't call me mama. Don't you see this man trying to talk to me? And it's interesting when people say stuff, how they forget it, but you don't. Because because it has an effect on you. It has an effect on you like my damn tattoos. They're there. I will always see them. They're vibrant. You know what I mean? They are present in my life. They're something that might be faded. It might need to be redone, but it's there. It's permanent. That's what I'm saying to you. So 
I was like, wow, that's messed up, you know? And I remember just feeling embarrassed, feeling hurt. And it's like, to even relive that now and think about that, I'm sitting here shaking my head because it's like, damn, that's a lot to take somebody through. And I feel like sometimes apologies don't solve everything. Let me say that again. Apologies don't always solve everything. Sometimes you need to give people time. Time will give you clarity on most situations. And I feel like certain certain things you can't apologize for. Not telling people I'm alive. Now you don't want me to call you mama. What else is next? Looking at me, talking to me in live, looking at my videos, whether I'm in front of the camera or not. You think I went through any of that? Would you have thought that? Because we never know what somebody's going through. And I'm telling you this because I decided when I created this channel that I was going to be completely open about what I want to say. Not everything needs to be said, but if I could say something to spark somebody's interest, if this is a similar situation, if you've been through some things, because family is not perfect, but I feel like sometimes people play on family. Some people try to destroy family. Some people are toxic and dysfunctional, and they expect you to just deal with anything because it's coming from family, and I don't feel that way. That's why it was a big gap in time and years that we didn't talk. And as much as I love my family, and I do. I, I sometimes get a reminder of why I left them alone in the first place. And I'm going to leave it at that. You drop your comments, your thoughts, your, your experiences, and let me know how you feel about this.